Greetings, citizens, and welcome back to another episode of Citizen Bites. I am Nerion, and today we're diving headfirst into the dark, winding caves of Microtech on a mission to track down a missing person. So what could go wrong, right? Well, buckle up, because this investigation mission just turned out to be a bit of a roller coaster. Except, you know, the kind where the tracks are missing in places and you're left dangling in midair, questioning your life choices. So one of my recent streams, I decided to do a good old-fashioned investigation mission. Uh, I touched down in my trusty ship, managing to land just inside the cave entrance on Microtech. Off to a solid start, or so I thought. Now I've done my fair share of spelunking in Star Citizen, and while cave missions aren't usually a big deal, this one decided to give me the full alpha experience. Picture this. You're crawling through a narrow gap that requires you to go prone, only to find that your character has suddenly decided to become one with a rock, stuck, immobile, and contemplating whether this is some sort of karmic punishment for all those 30k jokes that I've made over the years. Yep, working as intended. I guess he's not there. I'll go with no. Seeing as I can't bloody go in there. Now, the mission was straightforward on paper. Follow the waypoints on your HUD, find the missing person, and report back. Simple enough, except every waypoint just led me to another dead end, with little to show for it. Now, I'm all for a little bit of mystery, but this was more like playing hide and seek with a ghost who doesn't know the rules. The cave system itself, as always, is stunning. The lighting is superb, casting those long, eerie shadows that make you feel like something just could jump out at any moment. The potential to really ratchet up the tension is there, but instead, you're left wondering from waypoint to waypoint, questioning if you'd accidentally signed up for a cave tour instead of a mission. But let's get a little more technical for a second. Star Citizen's caves, whilst visually impressive, they still suffer from issues like clunky navigation and collision detection problems that can trap your character in frustrating ways. These kind of bugs are the last thing you want when you're already trying to figure out if that creaking sound was just the game's ambient noise or something far more sinister. Spoiler, it was the noise this time. But seriously, basic mission functionality should be rock solid by now, pun entirely intended. With Star Citizen being an alpha for what feels like an eternity, you would think these foundational elements would be as smooth as a cutlass black on Kuru's control. However, it's more like a Drake Dragonfly. A little rough around the edges and prone to tipping over at the worst possible moment. I don't even bloody know, I could just be... My god, my guy cannot walk. He's just a bumbling drunk. And now, it's not just me either. I've talked to some friends of mine and they have faced similar frustrations. Package delivery missions, for instance. Um, where a final package just refuses to register, leaving you stuck and out of pocket. Now, these aren't just minor annoyances. Uh, they're the sort of thing that break immersion faster than a 30k disconnect, and sometimes you can spend quite a lot of time just traveling from planet to planet doing these types of missions, maybe wasting up to an hour of your time only to have the game slap you in the face at the very end. Now, while CLG keeps promising that server meshing will be the cure-all, I can't help but wonder if it's more like putting a shiny new engine in a ship that still has a hole in the hull. Sure, it might go faster, but you're still going to end up swimming. In summary, you know, these investigation missions have a lot of potential, but they're held back by technical issues that should have been ironed out ages ago. The cave environments are gorgeous, the atmosphere is perfect for a bit of suspense, but the execution still just isn't there, and in fact, some ways, I feel like it feels worse. I still love this game, there's a lot of passion there, but I do find I have to take frequent breaks, else I'll just drive myself to the edge of insanity. Hopefully in the near future we'll see these missions get the polish they deserve, but until then, if you're planning to venture into Microtech's caves, pack some patience, and maybe a good book to read while you wait for the waypoints to do their thing. Anyway, share your thoughts on this, and are there any other features that have been in Star Citizen for a long time that you still feel need some love. Anyway, I have once again been an unprofessional gamer. 
and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates from me. Also, you can check out in the description a link to my Discord to join the hard gaming community doing it wrong, but it's working. Anyway, till then, fly safe. That's a wrap. <laughs>